Good morning. This is Mark. Happy Thursday to you. And I was thinking this morning about a story I often think about in the days just following Christmas because uh, this story in Matthew 2 happens after Christmas. In fact, it may have happened close to two years after the very first Christmas. It's about when the wise men or the magi arrive in Jerusalem looking for the promised Messiah, the, the, the newborn king. And one of the, the key events is when Herod hears about this and out of his paranoia, he calls the chief priests and the religious experts and he says, well, what does the Bible say about where this king is to be born? And, you know, they don't even blink. <laughs> they respond in verses five and six, they say, in Bethlehem, in Judea, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. Now, what I always find interesting is what happens, or rather, what doesn't happen next, because these chief priests, these religious rulers, you would think this might arouse their curiosity that these strangers from the east who have traveled uh, perhaps upwards of a thousand miles, they're there convinced that this promised king has been born and, and yet do they check it out for themselves? Bear in mind, it's about six miles from Jerusalem to Bethlehem. Do they have the time to travel and, and ex explore and see if this has actually happened? No, <laughs> for whatever reason, they're too busy, they got meetings, other priorities. They can't travel a whole six miles to see for themselves if this promise has been fulfilled in their midst. And you know what this tells me? This tells me, this is a cautionary tale for anyone who is over familiar with the Christmas story or with a religion in general. In fact, I, I think you could put it this way. Sometimes the people closest to Jesus are the very ones most likely to overlook them. Churched people, a Christian people, or heaven forbid, uh, people like the modern day equivalent of a chief priest or religious ruler, pastors. <laughs> and so uh, I think there's a very simple takeaway from this. Uh, and you don't have to travel miles. So you might only have to travel a couple feet to grab your Bible or your Bible app, but I'm gonna encourage you along with myself to dive into the first 12 verses of Matthew chapter two. And as you do, as you read this story, ask God to give you the same kind of heart that the wise men had, a heart that was thirsty to seek and encounter and worship the newborn king. Well, God bless you and have a wonderful day.